you must constantly make your husband happy. Give him joy. Stop noticing every mistake. Stop nagging. Every time there is a quarrel, every time, when your marriage was one year, you will quarrel for one week, you won't talk. Now that your marriage is 10 years, it's still the same. When will you grow up? 25 years. You still keep Christian malice. You know Christian malice. How are you? Blessed. <laughs> Pass the salt. I'm fine. That's Christian malice. We're talking. Am I not talking to you? I'm talking. If the rapture comes. That's not right. Let him be happy. Make him happy. When last did you tickle your husband? When last did you put a little fish in your mouth? And it just tiptoed. And you came from the back. And you put it in his mouth. When last did you do that? You know sometimes I just, I just move towards my husband. And I just tickle him. And he does like that. I say you are not even a virgin. You know what I mean? <laughs> did you do that? When last did you pillow your head on your husband's chest while he's watching Arsenal and Baka? <laughs> when last you stay in the kitchen for two hours, what are you cooking? <laughs> you can't even come around? That's why as a woman you must improve on yourself. You must know a little about everything. Isn't that your husband and your children are discussing? I see. I see. What did you see? You can't even contribute anything. I see. You don't even know the name of any club. You don't even know. And say, and they say Barcelona. And say, is it the wife of uh, Obama? It's a woman. No man wants an old bride around him. You must keep improving on yourself. Even if you're a great grandmother, you're somebody's wife. And it is your responsibility to make that man happy. Make him laugh. Stop dwelling on all his mistakes. Be happy. Sometimes my husband puts me on his back, you know, and all that. Sometimes I, I try to put him on my back. He's bigger than me, you know. I just want to call forth the little boy on his inside. Come out. Come and laugh. Come, you know, and all that. I was watching, um, I was watching you, your body language. And I said to myself, they are truly happy. If you are happy, you can't hide it. You see some couples? <laughs> the woman wants to speak to them. Yes. <laughs> they are always looking straight. What is wrong with you? Why did you get married? Marry your friend. It's not every time you have sex. I've been married 31 years. It goes down after some time. I'm telling you, if your life is based on sex, you've lost it. So there must be other things that will keep the marriage going. As the man ages, the generator is also... <laughs> it's true. When we're newly married, you could, do, you could have sex four times a day. In the kitchen, in the bathroom, anyhow, anywhere. That's why I always tell couples, when you're newly married, don't let anybody interfere. Because you need to bond. It will tell in the evening of your marriage. It will tell in later years. Sex is like the water that mixes the sand and the cement in building. So you must have it anywhere. It doesn't have to be initiated by the man. It's a sign of immaturity to say, until my husband, I don't want to appear cheap. Excuse me, you are living in stone age. <laughs> your husband it's your marriage because some of us are Afri we have african backgrounds you don't want to say i want sex okay let me teach you what to say <laughs> as you are serving maybe you're serving his food or something just whisper to him in case the children are there i want a flight to jerusalem tonight <laughs> Yes. 
the man understands. Or you say to him, tonight, I'd like you to make deposit without withdrawal. <laughs> he knows what we're talking about. Coin your own language. Coin your own language. Hallelujah. Why are you laughing? Be spiritual now. Be spiritual. So, the man's heart was merry. Make your husband happy. You determine, you dictate the mood of your marriage. As a woman, it's your power. It's, God has given it to you. It, it's a, a secret code. When mama is not fine, nobody's fine. When mama is not happy, nobody's happy. So it's important for you to make the man merry. Now, psychologists, no, scientists have discovered now that one of the greatest causes of death in women is cancer caused by unhappiness. So you better enjoy your life. When I turned 52 years ago, I made up my mind. Number one, to dress with my future in mind. Number two, to be happy in spite of anything. Number three, not to hand over the driver's seat of my life to anybody. Let God be pleased no matter who is offended. It doesn't matter how you feel about me or what you feel about me. It is your cup of tea. You can drink it till eternity. But as for me and my household, I shall be happy. Don't let joy take us, take your joy. Sometimes even when your husband is wrong, his ego will not want him to submit. But you just make up so that you can bring peace into the marriage.